one of our favorite segments of the weekend. In this weekend's hometown, Maine, we head to our state capital of Augusta. Its location along the banks of the Kennebec River has made it ideal for both frontier trading and inland shipping over the years. Right now, it's home to the Waterfront Park, Fort Western, and of course, the State House. So it's only fitting Augusta is home to just about everything and anything related to our state's wrist rich history, and it's all in one building. Let's head now to Augusta for this weekend's hometown, Maine. Augusta has been our state capital since 1827. State legislators began first meeting there back in January of 1832. Politics are now back in full swing at the State House. However, Maine's history is on display year round. Now, back in 1832, those in the State House began collecting artifacts and items to help start documenting our state's history. That technically became the start of the Maine State Museum. Well, things grew so much in 1971, it moved across the street. And here we are today. Let's take a look. We hear it's kind of like, uh, you know, Maine's best kept secret. Maine was one of the first states to incorporate a state museum, and they say it took close to 120 years of collecting artifacts to get this building to where it is today. We've got Maine Bounty, which talks about ice harvesting, uh, granite quarrying, sail making, uh, fishing, farming, so many aspects of Maine's uh, past. David Hunt's 30 years with the museum makes him a wealth of knowledge, whether he is speaking with visitors from all over the country or helping to educate the thousands of students who visit each year. It's four levels cover just about everything pertinent to our state's history. Logging was such an important part of the state's history. The uh, Lombard log hauler back here, mm -hmm. and this would be uh, like a giant skitter. This would be what would be basically used to haul logs out of the woods. This kind of represents uh, an industry that was really important about 100 years ago. Uh, the Kennebec River um, produced so much ice that it was second only to the Hudson River in this country, uh, and it was shipped as far away as India. In 1901, more uh, 152 quarries. We produce more granite than any other state in the country. Mm -hmm. And Maine granite was used for a lot of things as far as um, the foundations for the Brooklyn Bridge and the George Washington Bridge in New York City. There was even a two story working water power mill. We left the outside walls out so you can kind of see how water power works because water power is so important to the state's history. And they had to go 12 feet down through the floor to fit the whole thing in. And there was a time when a company in Portland dabbled in building cars. This company, the Burroughs Company, were making pool tables, storm windows, things like that. And they tried to experiment with a few cars. cars. As well. They tried to make a few cars. So wow. they made about 20. This is the only one left of this model that's documented that's still around. There are made in Maine artifacts, exhibits that date back 12,000 years, and a section designated for Maine's role in the Civil War. Maine voices from the Civil War, and it focuses on. Uh, um, a lot of the, uh, the, the home front, so some of the home front and uh, some of the personal stories of uh, Maine soldiers in the Civil War. Uh, we have some, uh, some letters, some diaries. And with a million pieces, the collection on display is only a small piece of the pie. Yeah, it would be nice to get some, more, some of the stuff out that might never see the light of day. All right, and if there's something about your hometown that makes it unique, a person, place, thing, or museum, you can email us at hometownemmy at wmtw.com, and maybe we'll feature your hometown in a future Hometown Maine segment. There's so much information there. You can just spend a, an entire day there just kind of absorbing everything. Yeah, and I'm sure it's fascinating when mm -hmm. you learn, I mean, just how much history mm -hmm. we have here in this state. Yeah. We I mean, knew it, but you see it right there on yeah, display. A lot of teachers take their students. I think 24,000 students go there a year. And a very nice done, a very nicely done by our photojournalist Sean Giggy there in that piece, as a matter of fact. Did a very nice job capturing the whole essence of the uh, Maine State Museum there. Now,